Hi, I'm Sarah and you are watching Can Sarah DIY It? Today I am jumping in, you know, head first into soap making. A craft DIY that I've never done before and I am extremely excited about it. I have watched a ton of YouTube videos to prepare for this and I'm starting out with melting pour soap, which is a good beginner project from what I understand, but I'd really love to get to cold process soap, which is more complex but it seems like you can do much more like fun stuff so let's get into this project i'll show you my unboxing um it's very exciting and then we'll get into making our first soap ever <laughs> okay yeah, i have a box from brambleberry Dot com and I've watched a lot of YouTube videos to learn and uh, first things first I'm gonna open the box and see what's inside and then um, I'm gonna get started and I'll just kind of let you know the research that I found and we'll see if I can make something you know passable <laughs> all right let's get into it if you are not already please consider subscribing I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers which is so exciting and I would love for you to join my DIY crew. All right, let's get into it and open this box I got from Brambleberry. You know what, I'm just gonna use a knife. And let me see what you have. A knife! No! So I ordered a bunch of stuff. It did take a while. I wanna say like, well, it was definitely more than a week to get here, um, but I had heard from other people um, that it usually takes about five days. Let's see what's in the box. Packing paper. Mmm. More packing paper. <laughs> There's something in this. Okay. This is coconut cream. This is a fragrance. This is a fragrance, not a fragrance. Um, so I got a bunch of fragrances in this sample size because I didn't want to buy <clears throat> a huge bottle if I didn't like the smell. So that's that. Um, and I got, oh, here's the rest of my, my scents. Okay, so just to go over what I got, I got coconut cream, vanilla oak, eucalyptus and cotton, lilac, which I love, energy, I'm assuming this is somewhat fruity, cucumber melon, I feel like I got a couple more, um, watermelon sugar, which I actually abhor that song, it just gets stuck in my head. Watermelon sugar. But I did think the, the scent would be nice. Um, okay, then I got some molds. I just got color blocks. You can use mica powder, you can use natural colorants, hot pink, super pearly white, aqua pearl, stormy blue, pretty, right? Okay, Kermit green, love, brown oxide color. So. If something has oxide in it, what I've learned is it's a natural colorant. Um, lavender, rose gold, and black oxide. Black oxide, so that means it's natural. And then I got a bunch of blocks of, of um, melt and pour soap. So this is a white melt and pour, and this is clear. And if you add a colorant to the white, it's gonna make a pastel. If you add a colorant to the clear, it's going to be more true to the color and like a solid color. So I figured I would use like a combination of these, but I haven't done anything yet. So I basically need to, you know, just kind of play and see what happens. Okay, I am gonna start out using the clear from brambleberry.com. There is a woman named Anne Marie. Hi everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com. And she is the owner, creator of this company, Brambleberry.com. And I've watched a bunch of tutorial videos of hers, and hopefully they were helpful. This is actually like a Wilton cake, whatever, um, but it's similar to what she was using. So rather than buy something new, I figured I would just use this. But basically you're supposed to cut it into like one inch Okay, one inch by one inch cubes or ish. And then you microwave it for, oh baby. I think 
you only need a little bit. I'm just gonna chop it out. I need to add some scent. And I'm just gonna add vanilla oak. I'm gonna separate this into two pieces. Crazy. Okay. Do we think that that's gonna get better or no? That's weird. Okay. Well, I feel like. Okay, so somehow it's separated. It all separated. All of my layers. Okay. One thing that turned out really well were the embeds. Obviously, I'd never done any of these steps before, but the embed was kind of a cool idea and I thought it turned out really cool. I'm pretty sure that the reason my layers split apart was because I poured these layers and didn't use any alcohol in between. And so I want to try again, but use an alcohol spray.
on my second attempt, I said, what the heck? And I just poured oatmeal, steel cut oatmeal into my first layer. I thought this could be exfoliating or it could be terrible. Take note that I am spraying my bottom layer now that it's hardened with alcohol before I pour the new layer. I was a lot happier with my second attempt than my first. The layers didn't split at all and it had the best smell ever. I am definitely gonna try this again and I absolutely want to try cold process. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to try something new. Thanks so much. Goodbye.